the California Wolf Center in 2008 and lived at New Mexico's Savieta Wolf Management Facility since his puppyhood. M1133 is an amazing wolf. One time he even tried to eat a GoPro. Like most of the Mexican wolves at the WCC, M1133 was cared for in a way to best prepare him for the future in the wild. In order to ensure the genetic health of his terribly limited population, it's vital that the Mexican Wolf Recovery Program grants new wolves an opportunity to join their wild kin. And what an amazing gift to bestow. Freedom! In January of 2013, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service approved the release of M1133 in hopes that the young male would fill a void within Arizona's blue steam pack created after alpha male M806 was illegally shot and killed on July 8, 2012. M1133 was released on January 8 in the Apache National Forest of East Central Arizona. However, his stint in the wild was short-lived. After just three weeks in the wild, M1133 was placed back in captivity. USFWS captured the Lobo because he failed to catch the attention of the Blue Steam Pack's alpha female. Shortly after his release, M1133 headed east, crossing the state border into New Mexico. When it became clear to the USFWC that he was heading increasingly further away from all the wild lobos, likely in search for a mate, it was decided that the genetically valuable wolf can better contribute to the recovery of this rare species by being introduced to a mate in captivity. M1133 has lived at the WCC since 2014, and we are hopeful that he and his mate, F1226, will have pups this spring to further contribute to their imperial species. Let's help save the Mexican gray wolf.